Hello everybody, we are live and uh, it's going to be exciting today, I believe with all my heart. So if you are uh, up, just put the thing for me. Welcome my wife, Oni. Let me just see where is James John Abbott because we are having a... Uh, let me just close this button, it came loose. Yeah. Welcome Ria Kritzener. Welcome Ria Kritzener from South Africa. There we are, James John. Let's bring him up. Yes. Right now, it's adding right now. Let's see if this is working. Let's see if this is working. I'm having an interview with the ex South African heavyweight boxing champion many years ago. It's still adding, still adding. Let's see. see. Blessed be God's holy name. Amen. Start adding. Connecting now. Hello, Jimmy. Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hello. 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 I can, I can hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive yeah. home. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Praise the year. Can you make word, Jimmy? Yeah, can you word? Thank you. Is, is Annette with you? Your wife also with you? Yeah, she's also here. Thank you. Hello, Annette. How are you? Hi, fun and you. Good, good. Okay, let's just welcome some people. I welcome Stevie William. I welcome uh, Estrella from Staden. I'm welcoming. Patrick Lau from the Philippines and uh, from South Africa, from Indonesia. People are coming up now. I just want to welcome them all. We have a special guest today on my program from nothing to something. Now the guest is gone. Hello. Uh, okay. okay oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. That's weird. That's weird. Hello, Patrick Lau. Uh, Patrick, I, I, I think you are with your wife, Lovely. Hello, my, to my son and daughter all the way from the Philippines. I'm now with uh, the South African ex heavyweight bo boxing champion. He used to he used to box and uh, rate at number ten in the world as well. Jimmy, my wife, say hello. She say hello, says Annette. Uh, Hi. Hello, hello, thank you. Stevie, hello. Can uh, Jimmy? Can you see me? So what? What up? Come here. You saw on your on your on your account. Of can it? I can see. Second is seen now. Yeah. Okay. We can see it. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, there's somebody from Amantum. Yeah, from Amantum Toti, yeah. Amantum Toti, yeah. Groovia, welcome, welcome. We just wait for some people to come up, and we're going to have a wonderful time in God. I believe more and more people are coming up. Can you hear that? Can you hear my word? Yeah, can you word? Bye, Donkey. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can listen to you. All right, we will do this uh, interview and this uh, thing uh, uh, in English because 95% of our people coming up is English speaking. Amen. That's right. Thank you very much. Okay, we welcome Anwar Santosa Day from Malang in uh, Indonesia. Welcome. Patrick Lau, we are watching from the Philippines. Welcome, Patrick. Uh, Jimmy Abbott also and his uh, wife Annette is welcoming everybody as well. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, uh, I say only thank you all the people on here today. It's nice to see you. It's nice to speak to you. It's nice to see what we are going to do today. We're going to have a nice chat and um, something good is going to happen to you suddenly. Glory to God, and I, I, I agree with you, my dear brother. Welcome, Shanae Won, all the way there from South Africa. Welcome, Pia Tanjung, all the way from Australia. I think you are in Perth. Welcome, Pia, my spiritual daughter there. Uh, okay, we can start now. Uh, have a braai with Buddha <laughs> My wife is missing the <laughs> with Buddha <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> oh, man. Yeah, baby. We are going to have uh, one of these days. We go to South Africa and we're going to have Budapest. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. That would be nice. Yeah, we're going to visit Jimmy Abbott and then uh, he's going to uh, make uh, 40 kilograms of Budapest for us. <laughs> Hello, Johan Waldek, my ex colleague from the South African Police Force. Welcome, Johan Waldek. Praise the Lord. Uh, I used to work together and with you. And work, yeah. Waldek, yeah. Yeah, I think you can only go down. Yeah, Waldek, yeah. Okay, we're just waiting for some more people. Jimmy, I'll see you in a minute. Look, we're going to end the session. Bye, Miss. We're going to end a minute or two. Is it okay with you? Yes, ja. right, you're going on. We're going on. So, uh, uh, dan begin ons op die kop, sê sê, maak ons op het gebed en een skrif en dan gaan ons lekker praat. Great. Dat wil be great. Amen. I've seen you got your water. You got yeah. your water. Ja, yeah, from, from, uh, you know, I, I never throw away the glass jar. This was jam before. I wash it and use this as a, a wonderful uh, uh, thing to, to, to drink water from. Uh, uh, Great. container, yeah, because many people throw this away. <laughs> the plastic I throw away, but the glass one I don't. Thank you, Pia. Welcome, <laughs> Sunita Sukamur, all the way from India. Welcome, welcome, praise God, praise the Lord. More, more mm. people are coming up right now. More, more people are coming up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, we just give uh, another one minute and then we are going to start this so we can um, we can have a great time in God. Eria Grovier says, remember, Mums and Doty is waiting for you guys too. Amen. <laughs> yeah, great. At this moment in time, nobody can swim in the sea. I see I, I, uh, you cannot even walk on the beach or whatever. Yeah, true. Mm. Uh, well, you can do it from five till nine in the morning. Then you can do it, but after oh. thing you can't do it anymore. So five o'clock or just before nine, you run back into the sea and you swim. Yeah. After mm -hmm. nine, if the police wants to catch you, they must come and catch you inside the sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Amen. Oh, Praise God. Okay, I think we can start now at 6 o'clock. And uh, let's start with a prayer first of all. We open up with prayer. Dear Father God, we thank you for your mercy and your grace, God. We thank you that we can have this time together, Lord God. And I ask you to come, God, and bless this broadcast, Lord God. Bless uh, Jimmy Abbott, bless his wife, Annette. Bless myself, Lord God, as we want to bring honor to you. Uh, our focus is not on one another. Our focus is on the Lord Jesus the Christ, hallelujah. We bring honor to him, we praise him, we worship him, and we ask you, Lord God, to come now and uh, do a great work in the life of people that is watching this amen. broadcast now I'm and that's going to watch it later as well. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, uh, welcome, Joseph, Tommy, uh, Teliar, all the way, I think, from uh, Indonesia, from Manado, if I'm not mistaken. All right, now let's see. Already many people are coming up. Wow, praise God. Okay, now uh, I want to read one scripture. Uh, yeah, he's from Malang, uh, uh, Java, uh, Timor, and in Indonesia. Welcome, Joseph. Welcome. God bless you, my dear brother. All right, now I want to read a scripture before we start from 1 Timothy chapter number 6 and verse number 12. 1 Timothy chapter number 6 and verse number 12. It says, uh, fight the good fight of faith. Amen. It says fight. Fight. It's a good fight, but it still stays a fight. If it's, uh, we have to fight the good fight. Don't fight the bad fight, but fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and having confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. That good confession is the truth about Christ himself. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, welcome, yes, uh, Jimmy Abbott. Welcome, James John Abbott, Pastor Jimmy Abbott, all the way from South Africa, and his lovely wife, Annette. Welcome. And uh, it's, it's an honor for me to have you with me. 
Uh, I know Jimmy already many, many years. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I think I know him around 120, 130 years. It's, it's around there. I'm, I'm not too sure. But, <laughs> but I, I know Great. him for, for <laughs> I know him for a very long time and we have gone through a lot of things. And I will be sharing with you and I believe that you're going to have a good laugh and I hope my dear brother, uh, Pastor Jimmy, would not mind if I share some of the secrets of our past and the things that we have done <laughs> and so forth. Amen. So uh, we will go. I want to welcome Matthew uh, Supra all the way from Malaysia. Praise the Lord. All right, guys. So uh, first of all, Jimmy, I want to ask you the first question is, is um, in your days of boxing, uh, during the time, there must have been a lot of hatred in your heart, isn't it? Because how can you be a successful boxer if you do not hate your opponent? opponent? Or was it just like a professional thing and you didn't really hate your opponent? Though? Can, you just, can you just tell us that, if you can, please? To, be, to do what you said today, uh, it's not the boxing. Uh, I was grown up and my pa used to say I'm not good enough. And uh, so I know I wasn't good enough. And um, so I had to hate it in my heart. Fun, when I wonder who was a kind, uh, child. a child. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, uh, while well, it came through me, everything, um, I first used to do the judo and they threw me too hard. So I said, no, that's not for me. So I go to boxing. And that is where the Lord helped me to box. Uh, and uh, look, uh, to tell you the truth is, I hate, I hate the Lord. I hate Jesus Christ. I, I, I wanted to tell you, I want to knock him knock out. I want to Jesus, I want to knock him uh, knock out. Because I hate him. Because of my father used to say, you're not good enough. So it doesn't matter who, how, how I box. No, no, no. It was already in my heart when I was a kid, when I was a, a child. Okay, um, so what I and what I understand what you are saying is that uh, your hatred was actually more or less to to God because perhaps God has been allowing your father to do the things he did and all the things that you've gone through because you didn't know better at that time. Is that correct? So you hated Jesus. That's correct. Yeah, you hated Jesus Himself. Yeah. Um, um, can I just? Can yes, I come Annette? in there? Huh? Okay, I think also he had, he had this anger towards God because um, his girlfriend um, from Stanner in the high school, uh, she passed on while he was boxing. And um, she had an ep epileptic fit in the bath and she drowned and she died. And because of that, he was very angry towards God. He thought it was God that um, killed her. Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, let me just welcome Susan from Firen from Durban. And I want to welcome Nita uh, Tim all the way from Saraban as well. Praise the Lord. Welcome, guys. So, Jimmy, uh, so your, your hatred started because you were blaming God for, uh, you know, for the death of your, of your ex-girlfriend when you were young. Is that true? Okay. Also with my mother. He used to hit my mother. But my ma my mama used to pray every day at the night when my my father used to go and sleep. Then she prayed, the Lord help me. Uh, and with my current children and my 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 uh, uh, my dad, uh, uh, and uh, so we go up. But we were all of us in in our uh, situation. We were always close, always close. Family. The family was always close. Yeah, I, I remember when I was in the police and I was, I was working at uh, the Bricks and Flying Squad at that moment in time. Uh, I was a flying squad driver at, at that moment in time. Very many years, 1980, 1982, 1983, around there. I was in uh, station there. And uh, yeah, and you know, in the area called Fitas uh, and, uh, and the Vera Dolphin of uh, uh, Jimmy Abbott and these brothers were quite famous there, in fact. And uh, so uh, there was always, yeah. yeah, there was always fighting. And I remember the one day, uh, I think uh, it was when you, you and your father played chicken with cars. Your father was on this side of the road. I think it was on Blom Street in Vitas. And you on the other side, and you were crush one another. None of the two were wanted to, yeah. to, to drive out there. Yeah, so, 
Okay, yeah. Jimmy, so it, it seems to me you, you grow up uh, very hard, you know, it's a hard life for you, is that correct? You, as a child, you, you didn't know much about love. Yes. I don't know, no, no, about love. Love wasn't in our, in our, uh, our uh, um, to speak about it. We don't know what love was all about. Um, all we know is uh, we hate each other so much. And um, that's why I hit my father. Those times I hit him because um, I just had enough of everything that's going to. Because if I look back in my uh, uh, child, I when I used to go to school, I didn't have money to eat a break, nothing. I had to steal it from other people. And then they used to eat me because I, I'm not good enough. So that's what it is. that's where everything comes uh, at my uh, at my liver at my uh, at my childhood. Yeah, I I I think the the such you know the the thing here is is that uh, because of your past, um, it it uh, you know it, it developed you into this man that had a lot of hatred, and uh, and you put this hatred towards God because. Maybe believing that God is in control. Why did God allow all these things? And uh, hello. Oh my. All right. Let's just give him where is he now? Let's just see again. All right. Let's just see if Jimmy's coming up. I think they have maybe problems with the internet there. Maybe problems with the internet. And a welcome, Gareth from Australia. I see you only now. Welcome. Praise the Lord. There's a lot of people up today. We just wait uh, for Jimmy to uh, come up again. Let me just give him a call. You guys just got to be patient, okay? Uh, the internet, I think in South Africa, is not always 100% and stuff. So let me just see. So let me just see. Um... Hello, Jimmy. Come on, probeer weer. Come on, probeer weer. Gaan weer op en ek so weer at. All right, I send him a message now. <clears throat> yeah, it might be accidentally he put off the phone, has put off, but I don't know. Let's just see, Annette is there, so the, I think they'll be up very quickly. So we can continue. Uh, it is an amazing, uh, it is an amazing testimony of this man. This man had about, uh, I think, four or five years of stroke as well. And he couldn't really speak, and uh, God really healed him through, the, through that. And he is able now to, you know, preach again and, and testify and uh, to bring honor to the Lord. Amen. So let's just see if he's coming up again. Uh, I, I, I think this is going to help many of you because... You know, this man grew up uh, in, in, a, in a hatred environment, uh, an environment that uh, was really not suitable for, uh, for a child to grow up. And he, he grew up in this hatred environment and his father put a lot of pressure on him. I know Jimmy Abbott, uh, you know, like I said, many, many, many years. And um, so, uh, uh, um, you know, it is, uh, it, it, is, it, is, it is not good to grow up like this. And, and then when he started boxing, he was, a, he was a great boxer. He was, he was a South African heavyweight champion. He was, a, you know, he, was, he was a big man at that time as well. He's still big today. But So let's just see. hope that he can come up. Hope that he can come up. Hope that uh, he can come up again. And uh, let's just see if he can come up again. This guy's... Uh, yeah, let me just see. I'm trying here to find him, but he's not at this moment available right now i sent him also invitation so let's just wait 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 um all right let's just see hallelujah hallelujah i think it's a connection perhaps welcome steve petzler Pets, Pets, petzer sorry my tongue. Uh, it's a bit
All right, let's just give him a chance now. Okay, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, it's adding now and it's going to go. Okay, guys, we're going to go up in a, in a few minutes, connecting, connecting. Okay, hey, hello. Be back. Hello. Hello, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and uh, I, I remember Bob Aaron, he used to uh, train Muhammad Ali. Uh, uh, and he, Bob Aaron used to say this in the news, in the papers, give Jimmy Abbott to me and I make him world champion within, within one year. So, you know, they saw something in you uh, that, was, that was absolutely great. Perhaps it was also fueled by this, uh, by this hatred, but you were a good athlete. You were a good boxer. Uh, I remember how you knocked Kali Kusa right through the ring. Uh, in the first round and all that. And uh, um, so you were a good boxer, but uh, it, it, your, your life was very troubled. Now tell us, Jimmy, uh, how did that happen? What happened when you first came to Jesus? How did that happen? Please, we really anticipating to hear that. Okay, let me tell you those things. Um, I had one in the morning, I had to knock on my door. Because nobody came to where it was it me and my wife. No more, nobody came to me. So I had to knock, knock on the door, open the door, and there was an a, 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 elderly, a elderly lady standing there. And I said to her, yeah, what's wrong? Can I help you? She said, I'm looking for Team Abbott. I said, well, I'm Team Abbott. She said, well, uh, I said, uh, what do you want? She said, well, I was bursting 40 days, fasting. So I said, do you come for me, something to eat? She said, no, no. God <laughs> uh, had the reason today to come to you today. And she said, well, Jesus is going to say, I see so a lot of people uh, ministering, and I seen one out there, and the Lord said, that Jim, but go tell him I'm going to change his life. So I said, what? To change my life? Man, I've been <laughs> waiting for him, man. A uh, man, I'm going to hit him so hard. He must know about it, who I am. So, and then she walked away. Then she came back and said, God has given you a new name. I said, no, 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 my name is Jimmy Abbott. That's all. She said, no, no, God has given you the new name. And I said, what's my new name? It's John. What is called John? The grace and the mercy of the Lord. The grace and the mercy of the Lord. So I said, yes, me? Amen. No, no, no. I, and then about two, uh, two, two days later, uh, the, the, pastor, uh, the pastor came to me and said, please come to my church. People want to meet you. And I go there and they all said, well, before I go there, I said, well, God is in a church. I'm being a church. Then I'm going to see if he can knock me because I'm going to meet him so hard. You can have no more teeth anymore. <laughs> so I go to the church. And in this church, I'm waiting, and everyone wants to see. Uh, 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 Jimmy is a, a Christian. Uh, yeah, he's a Christian. He's a Christian. So I said, I'm waiting for Jesus. I want to knock his TV out. And uh, so, <laughs> so, it, so they, were, they were having a fun day, and, uh, and uh, suddenly there was one joke speaking in a Language. Uh, language. Zulu. Uh, Zulu. <laughs> so I saw the Zulu because I don't understand it. And the pastor said <laughs> to me, Jimmy, God is speaking to you today. God is tomorrow morning, uh, Monday. You can, uh, when you're going to, your eyes going to be closed. I said, blind. who can uh, blind me? Never in your own life. Jesus is going to do it. Dog, dog, uh, pastor, uh, can you do it? The pastor, can you do it? Come, let's look outside, man. Then we can see what you're going to see. Here. So they leave me. So man, I stood up for looking in the mirror. I said, ah, no, man, I'm still Jimmy Abbott. But five o'clock, I pick up my wife. 
And as I'm driving out, she said, Jimmy, the bus. I said, what bus? She said, Jimmy, the bus. I said, what bus? I said, if you see bus again, I'm going to hit you so hard to go to the hospital. Have you got it? I said, said Jimmy, the bus. And I went right under the bus. Right sure. under the bus. My eyes was closed. I couldn't see nothing. I see you today. But I couldn't see that going through the bus. And I co- uh, then I get my car out of the bus. It's, it's broken. And I, I find the, po- the pastor said, come, I want to pray to you. He said, hey, you're going to give your life to the Jesus today. I know you're going to. I said, no, no, let's go speak about it. And then I go to the church. And then I cry. Oh, man. Then I cry. I said, Lord. Please forgive me for everything I've done wrong, for everything I've said. Amen. 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 Just Amen. a lot only to say, Lord, thank you for what you've done for me. I said, Lord, ah, I'm glad you didn't come. If you came, where would I be today? Where would I be today? Woo. And yeah. I pray this. And I give my life to the Lord. And from that day on, something great has happened to me. Because um, all the people see me, do you know God love you? I say, God love me. Man, I'm going to look at these teeth. But today I know what is that love. To change my whole idea. To change the love. Amen. Wow. Great testimony. So... I just want to say hello to Don Potter, my member in Antioch House of Prayer. Hello, good evening. Uh, and then also to Sarah, good evening. And uh, to um, uh, her, her mom and then also to her dad there. Uh, uh, all welcome, welcome, praise God. Okay, so Jimmy, uh, uh, actually, that you, you, you saw God as a, as a physical because you didn't really know him that well. So that's why yeah. you, you could say, you know, I want to I wanna knock, knock out his teeth when I do see him. And then the Lord blinded you and actually God knocked you out when you put you under the car. Yes. yes. And so, yeah. so you were, you were, you were out, out for the count. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think the angel were counting one, two, three, four, ten, <laughs> out, Jimmy is out. And uh, um, uh, no count, no count. <laughs> oh man, yeah. And so from there, your your life started. Okay, I, I want to move quickly um, a bit further on. Uh, we want to just thank God for saving you. Uh, you've done, uh, you know, you've done great things through the years uh, for the Lord up until now. But I remember when uh, when uh, many years ago we had this Christian fellowship organization in the police, where me and uh, yeah. Colonel. Colonel Slubbert was ahead. And so I, I contact Jimmy and I ask him, can you please uh, one Wednesday uh, evening, uh, no, Wednesday afternoon, can you come and minister to our group? It's just a bunch of policemen, hard men. I mean, we're working with, with, with uh, the hardest of criminals that you can ever think of. And um, at that moment in time, so I called you and you said, yes, sure. So I, I came and, and uh, we, we fed you. Uh, we were about four policemen in the car. And, uh, and yeah. uh, we, we had this uh, like, uh, like a combi type of thing. It was a state vehicle. Um, um, and, uh, um, you know, so Jimmy was sitting. I, w- I was driving and then I had my, my, uh, my, my passenger, uh, my colleague in front. And then Jimmy was sitting behind. At, at that time, I must say, Jimmy was uh, much bigger than now. He was about, yeah, 300, much, he much. Was about 340 kgs. So uh, he was sitting. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was sitting the whole bench full. Three hundred and seventy kilos. So three hundred and seventy kgs at that moment in time. Yeah. So uh, and then, then the, the two policemen sit at the back of him. So as as we were coming to go to the office where he would be preaching, uh, a call came through the radio and saying there is a bank robbery in progress. Uh, on the, I can't remember the street now. I think on the corner of uh, Fox Street and uh, Elop. But anyhow, there's a bank robbery in progress right now. So we were very close. So I said, okay, uh, uh, um, um, uh, we will do it, you know. Uh, I, I took the radio and I said, we will do it. We are very close. So as we, I mean, I was just driving crazy and the, the car was going left and the car was going right. And I forgot about Jimmy Abbott in the car 
And I and we were just trying to get to that scene very quickly because they say the robbers are still inside the bank. And as we as we came there and and all that, and, but in the meantime, as we're going there, the my my colleagues, the other three policemen, taking out their out far four and fucking yes, and uh, and you just see guns and everything and all that. And we stop and I and I you know the car eh, like this and I stop and the, all the doors fly open and we out with the guns and inside the bank and we were just ready to shoot them and anyhow they were already gone. But now Jimmy Abbott didn't know this. He was still in the car alone there and all the doors are open in the middle of the street standing like this. So what happened is later we know, uh, we took we took uh, some statements and I remember, oh my goodness, Jimmy is still in the car. So I went to the car, but you know what I saw? He's sitting in the, in the seat there, but his Bible is up there. He's holding his Bible on no! top <laughs> like this. He's, he's holding his Bible. I said to him, uh, Jimmy, what are you doing? He said, no, if the robbers come back, I want to show them that I'm a man of peace. I have the Bible. They must not shoot me. <laughs> I... <laughs> Can you remember? That's the right thing. Man, I was too scared, man. I was too scared. Whoa! So I, I put, took out my Bible and I said, Lord, I'm praying. Lord, I'm praying. I saw it in the Bible. Look at this thing. I'm, I'm not with it. I'm not with it, the police. No, 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 no. I'm not there. I'm sitting there. I was, I was really scared. Whoa, one time in my yeah, life, okay. I was really scared about those things. Yeah, that was... Uh... We we just missed that bank robbers by a few minutes. They were already out and gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe it was also good like that. But you know, at the end of the day, God is in control, and uh, uh, these are uh, the things uh, that happened. I, and I remember also that uh, you know, uh, Jimmy Abbott's hand is very open. He liked to give uh, things to people as well. And uh, um, so I, I remember at the time that uh, he drove uh, BMW Seven Series. And uh, he was moving from Johannesburg to Port Elizabeth uh, to start the ministry there, if I'm not mistaken, or to start something there. So he was, uh, and then he just one day came to me and he said to me, you see this keys? I said, yes, this is the car, it's yours, you take it. So I said, well, praise God. And uh, he gave me his Mercedes, uh, his BMW 7 Series. And uh, uh, well, praise the Lord. You know, I'm, I'm actually a Mercedes fan, but the Lord made me a BMW fan at that moment in time. So praise God. I just want to say that. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, me, 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 me and Pastor Jimmy. Go ahead. I want to say, uh, you you didn't have the car. Uh, you didn't have the car, if I can remember better. I had a 750. Yeah, you didn't yeah. have the car. So I come oh. to you and say, take me to the, uh, the airport. And I give, oh, yeah. I, when I got to the car, I said, this key, God said, I must give it to God. You need it. And I give it to you. Yes, amen. Yeah, I had to just take you to the airport, Jan, Jan Smith, Johannesburg Airport that time. Yeah. And then you are going, flying to Port Elizabeth. Yeah, praise God. Thank you for that. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I remember also, we used to watch rugby at Alice Park Stadium quite a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jimmy Abbott would organize the tickets for us. He would get seasonal tickets. And then uh, uh, three chairs, two chairs was for him. And then one chair for me. And uh, um, so we, we were watching on the grandstand. We were watching rugby. So my responsibility was to give him food. And uh, so we would go before the time to one of my contacts as a policeman. And I would get hamburgers and chips and everything. And then we watch the rugby. And afterwards, we'll go to the Southern Sun Hotel. You know, that last hotel, Jimmy? Can you remember? Yeah. And then we went down there. Yeah, I can remember it, yeah. Yeah, and then we asked to have a beautiful dinner. I tell you, five-star dinner and all that. Yeah, yeah praise God. <laughs> and then rugby. Always rugby. Yeah, we were great uh, line supporters. We still are. Uh, yeah, so true. anyhow. Yeah, yeah. I'm the biggest team. line supporter. And I'm the second biggest. Now, uh, uh, Jimmy... <laughs> I want to I want to take you back to a time in your life that was very uh, when you had this stroke uh, that that you had a couple of years ago and uh, uh, people said you would never talk again or something. Um, can you just elaborate for us what what God did for you during that time? Okay, uh, the 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 Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, I had a big headache, 
big, big headache. And my wife said, take some tablets. I said, no, 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 just pray for me. And she pray, prayed for me, and five o'clock, it's all over. No more headache, nothing is going back. So I go and uh, I went to uh, a minister, a minister uh, and Wednesday. And then I came back, and then we prayed together, and we go to sleep. And when I woke up, I thought, hey, this is not my house. I said, Lord, help me. From that day, I couldn't speak no more. For uh, 30 uh, three, months, uh, three months, I couldn't say anything, nothing. My wife today, she helped me so much. That's why I can speak to you today. Seven years ago, seven years ago, I had the, 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 the stroke. It wasn't nice. I tell you, everybody came to me and they said goodbye. They said, I, I, will, I will not live anymore. And today, after seven years, I looked back and I said, Lord, thank you that I go through those things. Uh, the things that doesn't wasn't uh, right for me. But you put me through those things to speak about those things. And a lot of people today, they said, no, 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 you can have a stroke. No, 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 you, you cannot speak. And if you look at me, my hands, everything is always all right. It's only when I speak English and Afrikaans, it doesn't lack. It doesn't um, yeah, forget the words. You know, forget the words. That's why my wife was always here. So I look at her, so she she, 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 I know, she know what she speak to me. And then the, when I break, that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's not nice, but uh, it's all right. Now, because now seven years, um, the, the doctor said to me, you can't, you can't do anything. Uh, and uh, today I'm still doing the same thing. And more and more things coming back to me. Like today, uh, something come. He just come back to me. I said, Lord, thank you that I can speak about it. So I, I thank the Lord today to speak English. Because I said outside, I said, Lord, I must speak English. But you know, Lord, I, I cannot think English. But I, Lord, thank you for the Holy Spirit is there. And I know the Holy Spirit is there. He's going to lead me to speak in English. And I, I know what the Lord wants to do today. For people listening to me today. I know where I come from, but I know where I'm going. That I know. I know where I come from. Where I come from, people hated me. People hated me. They used to call me the man they laughed to hate. But today I know where I'm going. With the stroke, I had three three heart attacks. I could just I had the stroke. So I've gone come a lot of things through. And a lot I say thank you that is always there to help me. Amen. Amen. What a what a great testimony, praise God. Yeah, I I know um it is uh it was a difficult time. I know you couldn't talk for a long time and we were all that time uh, we were all praying for you and I mean there was a lot of people uh and it was sending messages all over the place and we were we were, we were praying for you and bringing you before God. And, I, and and the Lord knew that your time is not up yet. The Lord knew that there's still for you, uh, thank, things for you to do. Amen. Yeah, thank you uh, very and, much for praying for me. Because I didn't know. A lot of people came to me and said, I used to pray for you. How are you doing? I said, no. They, they, they came to me the, in the hospital. And I said, they came to the hospital and they, they prayed for me. I said, I don't know you. I don't know you. It's all just goodbye. But the Lord is always there, and He helped me today to speak in English that people can understand what I'm saying. Amen. Now, what a, what a testimony. Praise God for that. We, we must always give God the honor and the praise and the worship for what the Lord is doing in our life, because what God is doing in our life, and sometimes what God allows, and, and uh, what we are going through, uh, um, and all that it is it is God has other people in mind in our future so that we can yes. touch them that yeah that we can uh, you know our testimony and our anointing that the Lord has given to to us can really bless other people can bring them to Christ and can set them free and even heal them amen 
Amen. But one day I want to say to you today, I, I'm with you as army, but with Facebook, I don't want to do Facebook. Nothing. I don't want to do it because people, and the Lord says, go on there. Go on there and tell him the word. Go give him the word. All the people with me. That go, every day I give them the word of the Lord. I said it to them. And today I said, God, thank you for Facebook. That I'm there to speak with you, uh, uh, doctor, to speak to you. Uh, it's nice to know uh, what you are doing for me. I love you so much. Come at my heart, your wife. Um, thank you very much for what you're doing for me. It came at my heart. You're welcome. I, I have one more. I have another story. Uh, Jimmy Abbott came to visit me in Singapore uh, around <clears throat> 10 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and um, and he came with his wife. 2007. 2007, more than 10 years ago. So 13 years ago, to be exact. So they came to Singapore. And, uh, <clears throat> and I, now the Asian people that is listening now, knows what is durian. So it is a fruit that stinks tremendously. <laughs> and, um, and we had, uh, so I had a surprise. And, and I said to Jimmy, Jimmy, you have to eat a piece of durian. And uh, because, you know, this is my baptism for you, uh, welcoming you to, to, to Asia, to Singapore and all that. Because this is the, they call Durihan the king of the fruits, the king of the fruits. And um, um, uh, well, to tell you the honest truth, when you open that fruit, when you open it, uh, it, you know, it stinks like hell. Now, I don't know what else, I don't know what. How hell stinks. I cannot really say because I've never been in hell and I'm not attending to go there, by the way. But uh, they say it, it stinks and uh, uh, it stinks like hell but tastes like heaven. That's what the Asian people will tell you. So what happened is I, I, I said to Jimmy, come on, you have got to eat one, you know, this. And, and Jimmy said, okay, 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 I will do it for you. I will do it for you. Now, as we were sitting in my uh, lounge there in my apartment in Singapore, uh, the toilet was very close to us. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. <laughs> and and uh, um, so so Jimmy took the fruit and he would put it in his mouth. And I thought, you know, I, I thought uh, uh, there's a bomb or something that exploded in his mouth because his face <laughs> became red as a tomato. And he went, mm, mm, mm. and he got up with that, you know, that big body of his and he was like a, like a flash into the toilet and the door closed and we hear for the next two, three minutes, blah, blah, I mean, you're singing opera, blah, blah, and you, <laughs> oh, I will never forget that. <laughs> I will never forget that. Can you remember, Jimmy, that, that day? Yes, I remember, pal. My wife used to eat it. No, no she, she didn't. She, didn't, eat it, but she, she took it in her mouth and she ate and she said, mm, it's okay. She eat it, but me not. I couldn't eat it. No, no, no. <laughs> but it was nice. It's nice to be with your people those days. And um, I never thought that uh, uh, what you've done for me through those things. It's nice to go with you. And uh, it's nice, nice, nice. I like it so much. Yeah, we had we had great time. And uh, you minister quite, quite a lot in... Uh, in Singapore as well, and uh, many, many churches were very blessed by, by your ministry during that time. The ex-South African heavyweight boxing champion coming up and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, telling the story how the Lord knocked him out for the count of 10 and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, bring him back again. Because actually, if God knocks you, you he will knock you from Earth right until the next, next galaxy. But anyhow... So, uh, but, but praise the Lord, the Lord brought you back and God saved your soul. And uh, we are happy, Jimmy, because, uh, you know, uh, uh, South Africa and the world needs you and they need this testimony. Uh, not many people that has gone through what you have been going through all your life can stand up on a pulpit and preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus the Christ. And uh, so I, I just want to thank God for that. And it was really, you know, it, it, to see you many times minister, it's a, uh, I, it sometimes brings tears to my eyes because, you know, I know you so many years already. And uh, I know you before you were saved, in fact, and, and all. And, uh, and I knew you, you know, uh, after you got saved as well. So it was, it was uh, we, we went through some difficult times. Um, 
I remember in a place called uh, Masharudorp, remember we stayed together there. Uh, Jimmy had yeah. the, 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 the Archeist church up there. I had a, a charismatic church down there. Uh, we were close to one another, uh, barbecuing together and all that. And I just had a wonderful time do, during that time, you know. And um, so, yeah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Uh, I just nice. want to add as well that uh, his wife, Annette, is, uh, I tell you, she has got, she is a painter. She She's an artist, you know. She loves to paint uh, uh, portraits. And, and, uh, and uh, many times she put it on Facebook, and I'm really amazed at uh, the beauty and uh, of her paintings and it's not just a painting it's like those paintings speaking you know it's like the lord is sometimes speaking through those paintings i mean i see the back there is that one of your paintings the back there on it yes yeah are uh, they yeah yeah do you see there look look at that uh, on, on the beach uh, the two boats and then the sea coming in very very nicely and uh, it's yeah it's very beautiful praise the lord praise the lord I, you can just sense the the peacefulness of the, of that painting when you look at it. And Annette, you want to elaborate a little bit on that? Yes, um, actually, uh, I, I never knew that I could paint. Um, I only started painting after he had the stroke. Um, and when he had the stroke, we had no income for a couple of months. And then um, somebody in, in our town here in Heidelberg, she said, I must come take some art classes because I love drawing and so on, but I never had any classes. So um, about 10 more or less, yeah, 10 years ago, an old woman gave me a prophetic word. And she said, she sits like a pomegranate that the Lord is giving me and is okay. breaking it open. And I'm just going to enjoy the sweet and the, uh, I'm just going to enjoy it. There will be no effort for me to open it or anything. And I never knew what the word meant. So I just put it on in, in the file there. And um, But I remember the, the prophetic word. And then when I started playing, I always thought it was the Lord meant that he is going to break up his word, open his word for me. But uh, I just left it there. So when I started painting, uh, one, one day I started uh, painted um, pomegranates and I took it to another lady. She's also a prophet. And she gave me almost the same prophetic word as that elderly woman 10 years ago. And then I knew this is what the Lord meant, that, that, that this is what um, the prophetic word means. I'm going to just, he's going to break it open for me and I'm just going to enjoy it. And that's exactly how it is. I just enjoy my painting. Um, it's no effort for me. I, I just cannot stop painting. <laughs> yeah, it's like a love that you have uh, in my drawings too. I, I, yeah. I, I used to do some paintings too, but I, I don't have. I know you do some nice things. Sir. So I just, I just do it with a pencil. Yeah, praise the Lord. So, so Jimmy, if if I would ask you this question, and uh, um, can uh, can you uh, tell me um, your life in God when you're already saved? No, uh, which was the best moment that you can remember, or was there too many, uh, or, or uh, something that you can just share quickly that the Lord has done a great thing for you and uh, and all and. Uh, is there something that, I mean, we all have a lot, but is there something really of, of the list? Okay. I can tell you what, uh, one day, um, my, my, uh, my father's uh, uh, sister with uh, her mom. Uh, your aunt, your, your, actually your uncle. Uncle, uncle. He was in hospital, he was going to die. So I go to the and I pray for him because he was in a coma. coma. And he says, I must pray for him. And I prayed. And then somebody came to me and says, come pray for my, my child. He's going to die. So I got there. It was an accident. And all the thing is on him. And I know the the all uh, crying. And I start to pray, pray for him. Because then the doctor says, he's not going to make it. So I prayed, and I prayed, and Lord, thank you. And something happened there. All the, the, uh, uh, and the machines came, boom, 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 go hard. And I said, what's happening here? 
They say, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just praying. So I pray and I walk away back and I go home. And about a year later, uh, a year, uh, one year later, uh, later, I got back and um, I was ministering. And they said, do you know? They want to ask me something. I said, what? She said, do you know this child? I said, no, I don't know him. You prayed for him and he was dead. And he's alive. Oh, man, praise the Lord. So many, so many things have happened to me when I'm praying for people uh, and they got healed, like this thing got healed. And uh, I know one thing I said to the Lord, I, I must pray for somebody and I could pray for him and he de- he, he's, he's dying. And I was really close to the Lord. I said, Lord, you know you're going to ask me to pray for people no more. People who do, you know, as... Uh, uh, see, uh, six, uh, eel, eel. Please don't tell me to go pray for him. I'm not going to pray for him. Do you understand me? <laughs> so I didn't pray no more for people. And one day, three o'clock in the morning, the Lord may make me walk. And I said, Lord, what do you want? He said, come, I want to go pray. I want to I speak to you. So I go outside and the Lord says, you don't know me. If you know me, you will never say those things to me. I know what I must do. I, I know what I must do. Don't you tell me what to do. So, I said, Lord, thank you. He says, you go and you do go pray for people. If they die, don't worry. Something good is going to happen to them. And I said, well, Lord, what are you telling me? He says, just go do it. And today, I go right over the world and I'm praying. Facebook people, WhatsApp people, I pray for them, and I know God helps them. Amen. I mean, Amen. Yes, we have, uh, sometimes one of the gifts is the gift of healing, and uh, that will just flow through your hands. Uh, <coughs> but you have got to spend time with God so that the anointing will increase in your life. So when you do pray for somebody, that uh, that the healing power of God just goes through. I think, Jimmy, that's one of the things that the, the gift that the Lord has given to you is the gift of healing as well. Um, praise yeah. the Lord for that. Well, praise God. I I, uh, I just want to, I just want to, you know, it, this has been really encouraging to me as well to hear what God has done in your life and uh, to, to know what God is about to do. Well, people out there, I usually don't do this uh, because, you know, I'm not really one man uh, to do that. But if you want to support Jimmy and Annette financially, uh, go to the Facebook and in the messenger, give them a private message and ask them for the account number so you can bless them. It's going, uh, you know, uh, pastors around the world today are suffering. Uh, we don't get salary uh, uh, and uh, um, I have not been getting a salary for the last year and stuff, six months already in the year. And, uh, but, you know, we are, we are trusting God, but the Lord <clears throat> wants to encourage you today to give so that God can give back to you as well. Amen. We know that, that, that Jim is doing a great work for the Lord. And, and so I, mean, I encourage you, even if it's just a hundred rand or a thousand rand or 10,000 rand, or whatever the case might be, um, just bless their, their, their ministry. You have heard what God has done through this man's life and what, what uh, um, you know, and, and also through Annette and all that. So uh, it is good ground to sow into their ministry. It is good ground. I mean, um, praise the Lord for that. And uh, I encourage you to do that. Just send him a messenger message and, uh, and then he will provide the necessary information so that you can also help them there. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, this was kind of my first in uh, 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 that I interviewing people and uh, just to, uh, to bless all of you out there so you can be a, you, you can receive this. And even in this time of... Uh, the, the, the pandemic and, and the virus and, and all the all the stories going around and everything. We just need to know that God is still the same. God is still the same before the virus and he's gonna be the same after the virus as well. Amen. Amen. God does not God does not change. We are changing and because we are changing, we think God is changing. He's not. And he's he's gonna do something miraculous within your life. And you just gotta come to a point in your life where you realize that and, uh, and stay with God. Amen. So I'm, I'm going to also ask you, if you have a prayer request, put it down there. 
and uh, uh, I believe that Pastor Jimmy and his wife, I met myself and my wife only, we will be praying for you uh, for every request. We will bring it before the Lord God Almighty. Amen. And we will have a, a great time uh, as, as, as we know that God is answering prayers. And I preached the other day about standing in the gap. So we want to stand in the gap for you. We want to bring your name before God. And we want to really bless you. Uh, and, and also, amen, to, and with our prayer and the anointing that the Lord has given to us. Isn't God just great? Jimmy, now the Lord has spoken Jimmy. to me. I have a word for you. May I pray for you, please, my brother, for you and for yes, Annette. Please. Just now. I never, I never planned this. You can know this. But uh, as a prophet of God, I believe the Lord has just spoken to my heart to release a word to Jimmy. So I, I would like to do it right now. Let's, let's just close our eyes. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace. Baba Yandere, Yangarabung Gishin Yavanta Bakati Yande, Henko Rokurish Karyande, Pendra Behenkarava Savan Takiande, Bengurush Karyangarava Savan Takiande, Anda Batakiande Yandre Beskerebung Rush Karyande. For the Lord says, Son and daughter, I have always been with you, and I will always be with you. I will never leave nor forsake you. For it's a time like this, the Lord says, my son and my daughter, that I'm bringing you into a new dimension of my walk with me. Many times the enemy has come, and even lately the enemy has come like a flood against you. And there was, it was many times you felt frustrated, and you felt that you cannot go on, and, and you felt like, what's going to happen? But the Lord says, son and daughter, keep your eyes upon me. For the Lord says, within one month, in this time right now, I'm going to open a door for you that no man can shut. And this door is going to open. And I'm going to bless you financially as well. The Lord says, do not be concerned. Because many times the enemy will come and will, will, will whisper many negative things. The Lord says, reject him. Reject him. And do not allow those words to even come into your spirit. For I am the Lord your God. And I love you with an everlasting love, the Lord says. I see you, my son. I see you, my daughter. I see how you cry many times at night. And how, how you are, you, you, you just don't know what to do because of your circumstances and the things that you are in right now. And you're wondering what's going to happen. The Lord says, look at your life. Have I ever disappointed you? I've always been taking care of you. And I will now. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says, even after this situation that you are in right now and this COVID-19 that has been hitting the planet Earth. But the Lord says, I will raise you up, son. And I will make you want to speak with fire. And I will make you want to, to, to do that which I've caused you to do. And many things, Lord says, is going to happen. And there's going to be a lot of fire that is going to be released from your mouth, the Lord says. For I am giving you a fresh anointing. And you, Annette, as well, the Lord says, my daughter, I'm giving you a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing is going to come upon you. And you're going to feel the fire that is going to burn in your heart. And you will not be able to contain it. And it will be just burst forth from you, the Lord says. Mm -hmm. And I will touch many people around and about you. Focus on me. Focus on me, the Lord says. I know your life. I know what's happening. I am not blind. I can see, the Lord says. Focus on me. For I shall bring you into a new dimension. Of your walk with me. Thus say of the Lord. Father we bring honor to you God. And I thank you. I pray Lord God. That it's released this upon uh, uh, my dear brother. Uh, Pastor Jimmy Abbott and his wife Annette. Lord God in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. You. Praise the Lord. I needed those things. I love you Jimmy. I love, I you, love you too. Buddha. And I in front of all these people. Once this COVID-19 is finished. And all, I invite you to come to Malaysia. Amen. And uh, to come and preach here. And uh, uh, this time, the Malaysian durian is better than, than the Singapore durian. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Don't believe uh, that one. <laughs> I hear what you say. It's all right. <laughs> Amen. All right, guys. Uh, I think this is it for, for, for the first. Uh, episode uh, that we had that I can in, in, uh, uh, interview my dear brother Jimmy and his wife Annette. I thank you for being able to give your time. And uh, Annette is sometimes quite busy also with the uh, with the uh, um, painting and all. 
uh, because they need that money, financial and all. So, but I know God's going to bless you. Amen. So praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And guys, please share this. Everybody share it as much as you can. Let this go out there. I'm not concerned how many people is watching this. I'm concerned about people needs to know what has been discussed today. Amen. And, uh, and because there's many people out there that needs to listen to this, share it as much as you can. And also pray for Pastor Jimmy Abbott. Pray for Annette, his wife. Pray for me and my wife only as well. Amen. And uh, we are standing in the service of the Almighty God. Amen. And, uh, and uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Annette. God bless you. And uh, thank you for being a blessing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, Thank you, Dr. Fricky. <laughs> Bless you. With ah, praise the Lord. <laughs>